Hello, everybody, and welcome back. Good to talk to all of you again today. And today we have data mined information. Sort of first look at the sort of things that weren't released last time of the announced American battleship line split. These are the slow American battleships. Okay, so just a refresher. Uh, these battleships are supposed to have massive firepower, really slow reload, 40 seconds base. They have 1.7 Sigma, not the world's best dispersion, and they go 23 knots. And they're not super stealthy. So the last time when I was doing the video, I was like, okay, please, I hope to God that these ships have something in their armor that makes them better than the fast American battleship. And now we get a first look. This is the Kansas. Tier 8 uh, on that new line. And if you're looking at this picture and you're going, uh oh, something doesn't look right. Yeah, you're right. Things aren't looking right already. 19 millimeter superstructure, okay. Um, 25 millimeter, that's a very small piece, not, not really significant. And that is what the ship is covered with. 32 millimeter armor everywhere. This ship is going to become, literally speaking, a magnet for IFHE 152mm at the high tier and 203s. And basically, just HE shells are going to fly towards these things. They're just going to gravitate towards this, like fast food towards... Oh, oh hold on. Wait, I better not say that. Um, 32 everywhere. Even the fast American battleships have a 38 chunk in the middle that allows to, you know, them to have some degree of protection, but this is 32 everywhere. insane okay that's not a very significant layer oh yeah but i mentioned that there's another sort of significant thing the base of the number two and number three turrets only have armor thickness on their barbette of 76 millimeters so yeah um i would expect that if shells were to hit in that area they would actually penetrate and <laughs> i don't want to think about the number of incapacitated turrets um Okay, well, we do know the Citadel is at least underwater, so that's good. Um, there we go. That's, uh, what is this? This looks like a 89 millimeter deck armor here. Okay, so there's one layer of deck armor. And then let's see if there's any other significant layers here. Uh, wow, deck armor isn't great either. That deck armor doesn't look that great. Maybe there's a missing layer in here because it does look like there might be another layer in there, but I'm not sure if it's showing up on the armor view or not. Does look like there might be another layer that's missing. Okay. Anyways, um, let's see the main belt. Let's see if there's a main belt number here. Main belt is going to be that's the underwater belt. It's got a bit of a like frontal uh, underwater piece that sticks out. Okay. Uh, but main belt is this one. This is probably the main belt here. Uh, this is uh three hundred and forty three millimeters. Okay, so it's a reasonably thick belt, but none of that's gonna matter. Thirty two millimeters everywhere and the situation doesn't improve when you get to tier 9 because same problem 32 millimeters everywhere on this ship Un unbelievable i cannot for the life of me figure out what the rationale behind this decision was you know never mind that there's a giant chunk of superstructure to shoot at i mean even if you are Smolensk and you can't penetrate 32, that is the most attractive superstructure ever. It's huge. I mean, it makes the German superstructures look small, for goodness sakes. And just unbelievable. 32 everywhere. Um, same problem as well with the turrets. Again, you know, chunk of the turret, like the armor, is above, and it's really thin. You can actually see it sticking out of the ship right there and there. So, <laughs> I don't know if you're going to be able to keep those two turrets functional for most of the game. Um, otherwise, uh, the uh, Minnesota is very, very similar to the uh, Kansas, actually. Um, see here, main belt, is it still the same? Yep, 343 main belt. Okay, so the main belt's very similar. Uh, armor profile, actually, of Kansas and uh, Minnesota are actually very, very similar between Tier 8 and Tier 9. So let's take a look at the Tier 10, because I think the Tier 10 is going to be the significant one here. Um, this is Vermont. And <laughs> you guessed it, that's the superstructure, all 19. Oh boy. And that is the rest of the ship. Oh. Oh. 
my goodness. Oh my goodness. The amount of HE that's going to be directed at these ships. Remember, other ships can run away. <laughs> these things go 23 knots, and they're not stealthy. I don't understand how Wargaming expects you to play these ships. I mean, are you supposed to stay at range? Because you stay at range, and you got 1.7 Sigma. How does that work? How does that even work? I, I don't get this anymore. Um... Hopefully the turret weakness is gone though. Yeah, it looks like oh wait, is it gone? Yeah, it looks like that's gonna be mostly under underneath the deck armor. Okay, so that at least weakness is gone. Thank goodness. When you get to tier 10, you're not gonna lose your turrets constantly. That's good. That that's at least an improvement. Um oh boy. The these ships are already starting to look really, really worrisome right now. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Really, really worrisome uh, data mined armor data for these ships right now. Okay. I mean, yeah, they've at least got, like, you know, actual decent belt armor. But again, the big problem is this. I mean, how are you going to resist the HE? All right. So if we sort of look away from that for a second, is there anything else that is noticeable um, that maybe can help, you know, make this a little bit more tolerable? You know, maybe the shells have great shell velocity on its AP or something like that on the Vermont. You know, maybe it'll be like sniper type battleship. Well, the answer is uh, no, because this is the um, AP values. And you see 732 meter per second velocity on 0 0.341 air drag value. And that is basically standard air drag. You know, like Slava has like 0 0.23, uh, I think, uh, on the Slava. Um, you know, champagne's like 0.22 something. So 0.34 means, yeah, you've got nothing special there at all. Sector fire, maybe they have really good angles and you can use the 32 to bounce everything. In order to get all four turrets out, 36 degrees to the front. Yikes. Yikes, 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 yikes. You got to show quite a bit of broadside. I don't know. Maybe the um, HE is HE is not that special either. Um, wow, wow, wow. Yeah, you know what? I'm actually speechless. For the first time ever, when it comes to a brand new ship line, I am utterly speechless. I have no idea how these ships are supposed to work. I'm not certain at all how they're even meant to be played because literally they have values that don't match you know you've got air drag and shells that you know ideally would put you in that mid-range combat zone but you're slow and you're vulnerable armor what you know what i don't know anymore all right well that's what we know so far <laughs> about these new ships um yeah <laughs> Oh my gosh. Let me know what you guys think. Um, now that you've seen this, uh, try, to, try to imagine how these ships will be played. If you have an answer, let me know because I'm literally at a loss for words right now. Um, so let me know in the comment section, right? Aside from all that, uh, yeah, have a good one. I'll talk to all of you later.